Hi everybody! We have reached that point in our violin or our viola lessons where we are ready to start developing our right hand into our bow hold. And first we are going to change this right hand into a bunny and then into our bow hold. So first things first, we have got to number our fingers so that we always know exactly what we're talking about so that we can move our fingers into the right spots for our bow hold. So let's start with thumb. Thumb is going to be just thumb. Thumb is just thumb. And then starting with our index finger, we've got one, two, three, and four. So let's take another look at that real quick. So our thumb is just thumb, and then we start with our index finger, one, two, three, and four. So we start on our pinky side. What do we have? Four, three, two, one, and thumb. Thumb just gets to stay thumb. Thumb is just thumb for now. So now we're ready to change these fingers into a bunny, and then our bunny into a bow hold. So what we're gonna do is we first need to make the bunny's eye, right? Every bunny has eyes. Our bunny is no different. We're gonna take finger number two and our thumb and we're gonna bring them to meet just ever so gently, just the tip of our finger number two and the tip of our thumb and they're gonna meet and have a nice big round bunny eye, a nice big happy bunny eye. If our thumb goes straight, what happens? We're squeezing and we have a pointy angry bunny eye and we don't want any angry bunnies. We want a happy bunny. So keep that thumb bent. Keep that eye nice and round so that we have a happy bunny. Next up, bunnies. Bunnies have two big front buck teeth, right? So we're going to have to bring another finger down in order to make some big front teeth for our bunny. So we're going to take finger number three. Which one is that? Yes, finger number three. And finger number three is gonna come down and meet finger number two and sit right there on the top corner of our thumb. Make sure that our bunny's still happy, a nice round, happy bunny eye, very good. And now to make those teeth, we're gonna move, take our thumb, and we're gonna move it up one joint in our finger. So if you take a look underneath here, we've moved our thumb from the tip of our finger up one joint to that very first line in our fingers. You notice my thumb is still bent. Yeah, that means that my bunny eye is still round and happy, but I also have two bunny teeth hanging over my thumb so that it can munch on some snacks. I think that means we need some snacks. Luckily, I keep a carrot in my pocket. Yes, I know it's a, it's a plastic straw. And yes, I know that it's purple, but purple carrots are delicious. And so my bunny is gonna munch on a purple carrot today. And so, what we're gonna do is we're going to move this carrot to the top corner of our thumb where our fingers had been and make sure that thumb is still bent, right? Thumb is still bent so that we've got a happy bunny and we're gonna move finger number two and finger number three down so that they're hanging over those buck teeth, right? Do we still have a round happy bunny eye? It's starting to get harder to see now that there's a carrot in there, but yes, if that thumb is bent, you've got a happy bunny. So let's munch on the carrot. Let the bunny have some snacks. Is your bunny happy? My bunny is super happy. He's so happy, in fact, that he's gonna actually wiggle his ears and let his ears dance while he snacks. His ears being finger number one and finger number four. Yes, wiggle those ears, yay! Now, after a big snack, it's time for this bunny to take a little bit of a nap. But we don't want him to accidentally bite on his ears while he's sleeping, do we? That would, that would hurt. So, we're gonna have to make sure that there's a little bit of space between his teeth and his ears. So let's rest those ears, right? They're not gonna stay perfectly up while they're sleeping. So our bunny, we're gonna start with finger number four. We're gonna tap, tap, tap the tip of our finger number four, the tip of our ear on top of the carrot and then let it rest there. So there's just a little bit of space. And then take finger number one and same thing. Keep that little bit of space and let that ear tap and wrap around the carrot. Take a look underneath, make sure your thumb is still bent. That means that even though all of our fingers have now curled around and there's a carrot in there, it means our bunny is still happy. You'll know if your thumb went straight and you have an angry bunny if it tries to <coughs> break the carrot and we don't wanna break the carrot. So keep that thumb nice and bent so that we keep that happy, happy bunny and that nice straight carrot. So bunny teeth hanging over and ears relaxing and we've got a beautiful bunny bow hold. Happy practice.